So, we've got the Bant Soul Herder deck here. Now, we are playing the, um, my friend and teammate, Danny Peterson, um, is on the four um, Noble Hierarchs, um, because he believes that you should be able to go right from one to three, or one to two with Ephemerate up, and I completely understand his standpoint. I'm going to play the original version first um, to see it, but we've got the deck uploaded to Stream Decker, I believe. And ready to go. And so we're going to get it going. Um, four ephemerates, four paths, two watchers, four walls, four coilings, four coils, um, four fours, three elites, two deputies, four soul herders, one jace, one vencer, and one thrag tusk. And the name of the game here is the soul herder. This card gets really strong, but the big thing is that it gets to blink a creature every turn. Um, so you get to just draw an insane amount of cards, return what you have going on. Uh, Ephemerate lets you do more interactions, getting more cards, getting more things back. So it's just a pretty sweet value deck. So let's jump in and try it out. Ooh, and we're working out the details, but Team Switch has their first official sponsor. Uh, Brian Palmer is uh, a local artist, uh, does some great tokens and play mats, and has the artwork for sale. I've actually got a play set, uh, not a play set, but an entire set of his um, play mat art um, at, on a 24 by 36, and I'm going to be framing that. I'm going to see if I can get uh, that in this my room somewhere. Um, which will be pretty sweet. Um, how long have I been playing Magic? Um, I started playing Magic um, right around 10th edition. Um, and I played it pretty casually with my friends. And we played that... Uh, I don't know. We, we played casually until around um, Shadowmoor era, I guess. And then after that, I switched to trying to play a little bit more seriously. Interesting. A little bit more seriously around Shadowmore and um, mm -mm -mm. I think we're just gonna play the Prairie Stream, right? And then we'll pass it. Oh no! You know what? Let's play the Prismatic Vista. Um, we may need a path here. Um, after that, I started playing much more seriously with my friends. Like, I didn't go to my first FNM for, like, a year. Uh, we just played it for our fun with people, so it didn't really matter to us. Have I been anywhere tropical that I would recommend? Um, I don't go to too many tropical spots. Let's go get a... Forest here, run out our wall. Um, I guess what kind of tropical are you looking for is the big thing. And, like, do you want to go tropical so you can, like, just lay on the beach? Or do you want to go tropical because you want to go, um, like, on a cruise kind of thing? I think we're going to deputy them. 
I'm gonna stick the crane though. My boss, my hairstylist, them, they go down to. Ooh, Ravager. Is that game? Um. Blocks. One, two. So one, two, three, four. Nah, it's not a game. Um, they go down to Florida a lot to check out the keys and everything there, and they have a great time. Hmm. I would have liked another green source. But with the way I sequenced the lands there, we weren't able to get the double mana for Ewet. Can't give them back there. Okay. Do we just coiling here to see what we hit? Cool, we get the path. Okay, so we'll pass this over. And hopefully they go for the kill. Oh yeah, they go down to Florida quite a bit and they enjoy themselves down there. And that way you're in a tropical area and you're enjoying yourself, but you don't feel like, you know, you're away or gone or anything like that because you are still uh, in the U.S. If you're gonna go to um, my boss, one of my, not my boss, one of my, um, one of my friends just went to, or co-workers just went to, um, the, the, the Dominican Republic, and they had a great time. Okay, so battle cry there, one, two, three. And we're just gonna block the oracle, not the oracle, the wall. If we, if we block with the wall, Nothing really happens, right? If we do it this way, they have to block. I mean, they have to sack to it. All right. Let's force their hand with a path here. Ephemerate's good. Let's see how we want to do this. We can run out Soul Herder. It's a non land permit. Run out Soul Herder, blink the wall. Draw a card. Before they go to combat, within combat, we ephemerate our deputy, take their signal pest, and then that way they can't instant speed equip to kill us. I think that's what we're doing. If you can go to another country, um, Vietnam is beautiful this time of year. I mean, Vietnam is just beautiful in general, not this time of year. Um, it's considered one of the most beautiful countries, and it's, you know, a good place to go check out. All right, so we're going to blink our wall. Okay. 
Okay. Pass it to them in combat, as long as they don't generate another black mana here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm supposed to go back next year, so we'll see if I can make that happen. Take this, we go down to one. You know, all joking aside, I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh, we're going to one. Risky, risky. want to draw the card here or do we want we can take the Ugh. draw the card signal pest kills us signal pest might be less of a problem if we take their vault scourges then we use no, we're still dead there. Let's draw a card, because we're dead to the other way we go about this. I don't think that's enough, so we'll concede here. Alrighty, so we want the Knights of Autumns. The Ceremonious, the Stony, I don't think we want Cataclysmic, that's a bit much. Let's trim out the top end here. Ice Fankoda would have been great. Um, also, no, not the Wall. The Watcher? Probably the Watcher, right? I am, I don't have a Psy. I don't think Soul Herder flies. It's a spirit, but it's, and it's a giant walking dude with a sun for a head. Let's keep this. We'll keep this. We, we, we can get a value engine going and we get interaction. It feels like it should, right? Like the art, it's the, it's a spirit, like all thing points to the fact that it should. Vista. And Coiling Oracle. Should be okay for another turn. Let's go grab another white source. I would like to blink you.
Oh, we're so good. Now we have Path Mana available. I think we want to get rid of the signal pass and then the arc bound next turn. Oh, I thought we were in the I thought we were in the beginning of combat already. Not that it matters. They, they would be able to do this either way, but now they can cast a spell on their turn. Did they misclick? I think they misclicked. So they activated the wrong uh, Blink Moth Nexus for one, which is a little awkward for them. And then they just redid it again. It gives the bonus anytime a creature's exiled, so our paths make it bigger too. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> oh. I am not interested in blocking. I will take the one. Swing right. Oh man, we got all the man on the world now. We can also cast our force. How great this is. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Uh, that's a no for me, dog. Can't equip it at least. We'll have the path for the ink moth kill. Our 
crack this now. Deputy would be pretty cool. Sure. Sure. Another one. Oh, okay. They're just activating artifacts. And sack it. Interesting. Give me a night of autumn. I just want to start blowing up all their stuff over and over. Come on. Give it to me. Dude, it gets pretty large pretty fast. It's kind of impressive. Path is great. Let's go deputy on the plating. I feel ya. We've been making some interesting plays. Ooh, an ephemerate. Oh boy. Oh boy. This Venser. I'm gonna try the Venser over the Watcher. I'm not sure if that's right, but Venser seems pretty sweet. Being able to bounce like if they put all their eggs in one basket with um, uh, their Ravager, we'd be able to just bounce it and punish them. We will keep this. Yeah, he's a pretty good. Mr. Wolfus is a pretty good affinity player, isn't he? I appreciate the fact that he knows when he like has a line or not. Like he doesn't like, you know, pretend to not have a line or pretend to have a line that he doesn't have. He's not here to waste anyone's time. He's moving along. I'm gonna grab the forest here. This if I grab the forest. This could, this could bite us pretty hard. Uh, if I grab the vista, it won't bite us as hard because next turn we can get the regular land. Yeah, I guess we're not under pressure, right? 
Yeah, we're not under pressure. We'll go over the Vista. We'll pass. We can force if we have to. He is a master of haggling. I should just have him buy, buy all my cards. Flooded Strand is great. Let's run up the Oracle. He got my foreign black border um, Urza lands as a gift, or Tron lands as a gift, and he is he is a haggler to get that one down. Uh, we're gonna force. We could path the one that doesn't matter. Then for no, let's just let's just force it. I don't feel like dealing with it, and we've got an extra deputy to pitch. Can Stony here lock them out of quite a bit? We can path the Vault Scourge after that. And a Galv Blast us, sure. I think I'm going to block. Uh, I don't think they have another land either. Ooh, there's the Night of Autumn. All right, we'll pass this over. Yeah, Pat's free for us. Oh my gosh. They have just a 1-1 one, one steal over us here too. It's not doing anything for them. I'm so incredibly rude. I am so excited to just blow up their permanents. We'll blow up that one. That one, a little bit tougher for us to deal with, but luckily for us, it's only going to be dealing two damage at a time. And we are going to be gaining an absurd amount of life. So here I'm just going to gain the life. Because they can just only deal two damage to us at a time. We've shut off a good portion of what they got going on. And we should be able to alternate between destroying something and gaining life. Destroying something, gaining life. Yeah, it's over. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. So my disc golf league wrapped up today too, and that was pretty cool. We have an end of league barbecue. Yeah, this deck is the definition of a value machine.
Hmm. Too bad this didn't have one more land, and it's specifically a green one. Pitch that. Uh, same problem. <laughs> uh, okay. Guess we're keeping this. So we're going to ditch the path, pitch the thrag, and pitch the path. <laughs> uh. Oh. Ooh, the blue red cycler deck. Okay. Let's grab the Vista. Oh no, I should have grabbed the other one, the Prairie Stream. Well, we got saved. Yeah, I uh, did misclicked. Uh, not misclicked. I clicked the wrong land. That wasn't a mistake. I just was not paying enough attention. Cyclers. And more cyclers. Hopefully they're not living ending this turn. Because we're kind of far behind. Feels like it. Oh, they're making two four fours. We can deal two four fours. Not really. All right, I think our best bet to deal the two four fours is actually just to get ourselves death touch. And we probably gotta draw some cards. Yeah. Sweet. Grab a forest. Run out this coital. Coital. I would like to target this Coiling Oracle. Yes. We're getting back into this game. Look how many land drops we've made. Now, if they're living in, we're, just, we're done. We're so done. All right, I'm blocking with the Death Toucher here. Because we, we're, we're okay with getting that into the graveyard as well. Yeah, Force of Negation seems sweet. more? It's so unfair. We got like one ones and two twos. They've got four four tramplers. Oh, they're just gonna hard cast that. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think we can really afford to draw a blank spell.
path is good. the 4-4 four, four flyer. I mean, oh uh, yeah. We're going to path this, make our soul herder a 4-4. Four, four. Trade here, block here. Ha oh, ha ha, e wet. Okay, so we can e wet back our ephemerate then castle herder and have uh, ephemerate on the ewit get back path okay we're getting back in this game could force it and then just have path. I think we have to because we can't recast it otherwise. Get path. Yes. We're going to path now while they have no counters. Otherwise, it would have countered that, I think. And we'll get in the sick beats for one. All right, we can still get our way back into this game here. Next turn, we can go Soul Herder, blink our E-Wet, get use our E-Wet to get back Ephemerate, and then just start a ridiculous chain of events to get back all of our stuff. Soul Herder. Cryptic Command. I guess we'll take the... Uh, do we take the... Yeah, let's take the play that puts us further ahead. They're just shooting us for a bunch with Electro Dominus. They sure are. Okay. So, rest in peace seems pretty decent here. Same with Ooze. I think Knight of Autumn has decent value here. Debatably, that Cataclysmic Gearhawk can do work. I think Thrag Tusk is too slow. 
watch or less us dig for the specific card, but I think it, it seems to me at least that it's the weakest of it. be overboarding with this and the knights no I think the knights are reasonable they blow up a pretty important spell he has a lot of, it's not bad I think we were pretty close to that. I mean, if one of those spells, like, near the end of the counter had resolved, I think we would have got there. Okay, we got to turn two rest in peace. It's a little awkward because of the sequencing here and then not having any green mana for the Eternal Witness, but not bad. Can make this work. We even got a backup rest in peace when they counter this. No counter, okay. Not what we wanted. Not what we wanted. We just wanted a green land. Or, I mean, now we just want a green land. Any land would have been good to be able to cast the forest, but we can pitch Coital to the forest now. Cool. Oh, this is going to come to play tap if we have the green source. Let's just pass it over. Prairie streams and the, uh, the other one is uh, it's a little slow for me. They better fear the stifle bird. on our way back into this game it's nice it's nice you know our e a bit dead but you know it's the sacrifices we're willing to make Probably should have took out the Ewits, right? For bringing in Rest in Peace. Spatula for bringing in four of them.
Uh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Thank you, Swamp Bass eighty four, for the follow. Much appreciated. Joining the chat and joining us with the Voodoo stream. And Lucid Hope, thank you so much. Anger again, oh my god. Oops. I would like to blink you. Yeah, I was surprised by that as well. But now you are, and that's what matters. ourselves a card. He's getting all the beats in with the soul herder. It's doing so much work. I would like to draw a card. told I may have wanted to run out the uh, coil last turn but I didn't speed up the clock so I didn't do it We've got a handful of cards. They've got a handful of cards. I don't know what they're waiting on. I don't. Know, I don't do they have all dead cards in their hand? Uh, like they're just waiting for enablers.
Ooh, they're gonna tap down our team and draw a card. Sure. Can't do anything about that. Yeah, four rips. We're professionals at drawing them. Mm, blink this one. I guess we'll discard one of these four rips. Lethal on board, so I'm not going to run out more creatures. They're going to dominate dominance for Living End just to wipe the board. Three. There's the living end. We have no lands left in our deck. gonna run out this deputy so we have lethal next turn <laughs> I have no idea what they're waiting for. Cycle, cycle, cycle. Uh, we would like to kill you. Oh, man. At least we get the soul herder. Drawing cards. I'm down to 22 cards. And they're only at 34. How great is that? Yield. Yield. their creatures at this point I wonder they have the mana for it are they just aware that I'm just gonna path whatever they bring out
They're down to like two mana. And we've got more than lethal on board. What is going on? Tell you what, we're taking off these Ewit. Okay, they finally conceded. All right, Ewits are out. Uh, let's bring in the Thrag. The Thrag. Let's try this Cataclysmic Gearhulk. I want to see what's going on with that. Hmm. This hand's not going anywhere enough. Yes. We'll ship the Thrag Tusk. Because I want to see what this gear hall can do for us. Let's try this. Rest in peace. Aww. Try it again. Sure. Is it resolving? Oh, they're going to dominance right now? Sure. Okay, so we're going to be taking 10. We can't go fetch up a white source either because we only have these slower lands. So we'll go fetch up the dual land. And then we'll ice wing codal. Should we just fetch up, fetch up the island? No. Yes. We should because we need... Um, we need to get Death Touch online. That's not good. I don't think it matters now. Path one, block that, go to one. Can't crack this fetch either. Oh wait, no, we can't. Uh, we don't have death touch, so we can't kill it with the block. And if we want to do it, we'll have to go to one. So, uh, I, I think we're just done here. But we'll try it.
and we're done. Yeah, that was a lot of power. We could have kept up if we would have just been able to um, get a little bit more going faster, but they just put 10 power on, in play in turn 2, so... I mean, turn 3. This is fine. source for sure I think we'll go prairie stream here and I'll go this set to grab the green source even better Crashing Footfall seems pretty sweet. Um, I don't know about it in this format. But um, I think it's a pretty sweet card. I mean... I should read more of his uh, articles. Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. I, click I was reading things and did not force that like I was supposed to. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, clicking on articles instead of doing the proper thing is what we're doing. Gosh. Okay. Okay. We're bad at this game. We get so many things to pitch too. It's so bad. No, no, that's not your fault. That is 100% my fault. Do not even think that's close to being your fault. Nope, disagree. Not a bad distraction. Force this though, I tell you what. Boom, boom, get forced.
Hmm, ephemerate. Okay, okay. Let's wall blossoms, draw a card. Do some swinging. I think we're gonna ephemerate right now. Another force should be good. We're still fearful of a vizier by itself, but doing well. Keeping up. Gonna force that, tell you that much. Bap. They're down to one card. They're down to one, two cards. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. We got this. Boom. Bounce here. And we're gonna path that devoted druid. Um, if we have to, we don't necessarily have to at this moment. us for doing that mistake okay not useful this might be useful stopping their uh, big payoffs I don't think we need a thrag tusk and I think Jace is too slow do we need anything else I don't think so do we want to bring in the gear hulk just to wipe the board it's not unreasonable right take out a wall and do that yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Let's try that. And we're going against the Muldrifter. That's a sweet name they were able to snag. So I tell you guys that prices of college books are such a racket. My new book, this one right here, boom, brand new is like $300. $300, brand new. And that's for the hardcover version, right? Makes total sense, obviously, that it needs to be that much. Uh, we'll keep this. And the, the, the used copy, was down to like, on my, uh, on my school's page, was down ridiculously. Yes, that's fine. Um, hmm, I think we wanna be able to path if net, no, we don't have path. Yeah, we're okay to just run off this out. Um, like down, so like it dropped all the way down to like 150 bucks for the used copy. I was like, okay. And then it dropped down again when I, I checked on, uh, on Amazon for how much it was. It was down to like 80 bucks for uh, a used copy uh, for the hardcover. And then if you go to a used, uh, I want the green white land. Um, and then if you wanted the, the used soft cover version, it dropped again to like 50 bucks. And then like the rental, that rental right there, 20 bucks. 
I would not take that. Like, you have to take that, right? I might be greedy by forcing this, but I'm going to force this. Like, it's ridiculous, the price of these cards. I mean, of these, uh, of these books. Absolutely nuts. I don't know how they expect anyone to be able to afford these things with, like, those kind of price discrepancy. If you didn't know to check, you know, it'd be, it, it's awful. Um, grab that. Got your ballista. We'll take the damage. So they might sack the ranger here. I'm still going to ephemerate, though. Um, if they want to stop us on our upkeep, I don't really care. Cool. Let's e what? Get this ephemerate. Yes. Ephemerate the e what? Bring back that force. Yes. <laughs> They can sack Ranger to protect their, themselves, but it's okay. We can't have it all. The list of for two. Can't do anything about that. Or that swing. To let that die because if we vents her, it still just dies. You just if we gear hawk, they still just get two things, right? So do we, which is probably fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's just wall. Wall the force and disdainful stroke. And another force, apparently. Blocking that. Mm -hmm. Sure. So we're gonna gear hawk here. That way we can potentially have a safer soul herder. I don't think it'll be safer, but 
because they're going to keep their Ballista. Let's see if they keep their Granger or their Giver. Artifact, and we'll keep the wall of blossoms because it doesn't die as easily. Yeah, Gearhawk should be sweet here. Okay, they're gonna keep their giver and their ballista. That's fine with us. Should have swung, but I didn't realize I clicked through it. We're gonna have to do it to where they block. Next turn, we'll have to do it where they block with ballista. They'll give it protection, and then we venture it. And then that should. Yeah, Blinking Gearhawk does seem strong, but we gotta make sure our Soul Herder can live. So we'll swing here. See if they block and give it protection. Nope, they're just gonna take it. Go Coiling Oracle. Alright, next time they can put it to five, but they'll wait for it to be at six so they get to keep it. Okay, we'll just jump blocking. Um, we will force that. that as well. We could force their hand to blink the soul herder and then we venture it back to our hand. No, because the soul herder would just die. No. Yep. Yep. That one swing really messed with us.
They can only add... Um, so we could go for blinking our Gear Hulk. They would have to put a counter on it and give up their Ballista. Yeah. I think... I think you're right, Lucid. We can go Venser, Blink, our Gear Hulk. If they decide to burn their Ballista on it, we're left with a Soul Herder and a Venser, which I think is a good spot. So let's do that. Don't take the bait. Okay. And it's correct of them not to. Alright. Gear Hulk. Can swing at them for two and we'll need to play our wall of blossoms oh they're shooting okay this way we don't die Interesting that they shot that. I thought they would have just took the two. Pretty close to dying from the ballista shooting us. Oops. I just blocked him properly. But no, that's the correct one. Giver Giver will die as a result. So yeah, no, we're good. They're going to shoot this. Hmm. Have to block. Yeah, I think I gave away this game. The way I sequence things. We can draw path to stay in the game, yeah. Yeah, we drew a land. Yeah, I think some decisions earlier on punished me. Let's try that again.
Their walking bluffs is a really b big beating against this. Well, this hand doesn't do anything. This hand doesn't really do anything. Do we keep it? Because if we draw any relevant... I don't really like bringing in Stone Age. It's, it's only against one card. I know it's a blowout card, but it seems like we'd be bringing in a lot for it. I think I'm going to keep this and pitch the force. And we just need to draw a land. I mean, not a land, but a draw a, a spell that's not a land. And then we should, like draw any relevant creature here, and we should get a pretty strong engine going. Sorry, I'm running on like low sleep. After well, like, I didn't get to bed till like 3 a.m. last night because we got back. Like the tournament took so long to finish. Grab a green source here. Yeah. Oracle that. Well, ephemerate it. MCQ yesterday was great for me. I, uh, Went 5-1-1 in the um, Swiss and ended up uh, in top eight. And then in top eight, I got all the way to the finals. Unfortunately, lost in the finals. Hmm. I don't think we can give them this. Oh, it's on our turn, though. So we can't uh, pitch. Okay. Um... Yeah, so the MCQ was really good for me yesterday. Um, I'm really sad that I didn't make it to the finals. Uh, I mean, not the finals. Uh, I didn't make it to the Pro Tour. But you can't have everything, you know? It is a big dream of mine to get there. Could really use an answer to that right now. Have any I'll grab another blue source. I'm gonna force their hand here. Either they give us the path or we uh, get to start getting crazy value. Yeah, I, uh, winning the very final match there would have meant a Pro Tour invite. Um, still made good money, you know, because we split top four because they didn't want to split top. Okay, cool. Uh, they don't want to split top eight, so still make good money, which is really sweet. But I only—I don't really care about the money. I care about going to the pro tour. So, um, but yeah, I think that's one of the closer times I've been there. I've, I've top eight at other events previously, but uh, being in the final match at that time, man. Yeah, I hope so. It's been a really good year between top sixty-fouring. The Invitational, top 32-ing, an open, top 16-ing, an open. Um, and then just getting to the finals there, top 8-ed um, IQs. So it's, it's been a good year. Um, 
now that I'm taking it so much more seriously. And being able to just travel for it too, that's a big deal. Like previously, like, you know, between work, um, between work and school, I wasn't able to pursue it as much as I would like, so now I'm able to, so. Gearhawk would be pretty sweet right now. And that's a land. I'm curious how I'll do it in Dallas uh, for the open. Uh, what do they got? Did they got another ballista? Oh, no, that's good. That's good. This deck is pretty sweet, though. Yeah, I want to see how I, how I do in Dallas, Indy, um, the other Indy. And then... Uh, and then we have regionals, and then the invitational stuff. I don't know if I'll go to Atlanta. I'd like to, but. Because I think it's, if I could do it again to where it's, um, I, I don't have to take any time off, I think I definitely would do it. If we get one land, this hand starts going crazy. But we in the draw. We're in the play. Mulligan. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll keep this. Ship the Vencer and the Ice Fang's not gonna be able to cast. Or, yeah, we have to pick one or the other anyway. Yeah. We'll take the guaranteed draws. Yeah, I think there are direct flights. Oh, gosh. I can do another one where I am flying out after work and then flying back non-stop it may oh looks like we might know what we're doing <laughs> that looks like we're against dredge here Okay, if I can do that, I'm probably... Yes, I played Urza at the MCQ, and I'll be playing it um, uh, right after this. So we haven't played it tonight, so it's it's on the lineup for after this. Look, another bot. Probably go to Atlanta. I 
I don't know if we can keep up with this, to be honest. If we can start blinking Thrag to us, we definitely can. Plus side, we've got like four resting pieces. I am not blocking that. Okay. Yeah, that's a bot. that half that block that one two three four five six seven eight nine go to one Play this. We do not have set all the wreckage in the sideboard. They've got another con flag, so that's game. And the creeping chill. Alright, so we want ooze. Purges, rest in peace, seem pretty decent. Do we want purges? I think we do. And then we want the gear hawk here, I think, to wipe their board. Watchers, Venser, Jace. I think we want Thrag Tusk right. We don't want Ewet. We can probably trim one for us because it's gonna be harder to cast. 
Creeping Chill is a pretty obnoxious card. It like took Dredge all the way to the top, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable, I guess, for how much I'd play. If I could find a group to go to Atlanta. Yeah, another Thrag Daddy would be sweet. Maybe we add it in and trim one Coiling Oracle. Don't know if that actually took. I did. This hand's slow. And we've got no graveyard interaction and no ramp. I don't think we can keep this kind of hand. This hand seems good. I think we'll keep this, and I think we're pitching this deputy. We'll go flood it and pass. Who's better do work? Is that worth forcing? Like, is that too greedy? It might be, but we're gonna do it. go grab a blue source here so we have all of our colors i kind of want the green source though so we can start actually eating things no let's grab the green i want to just be able to eat things once we start dropping this ooze next turn Two stinkweedums, which is really unfortunate. So we'll just pass turn. Narco Amoeba is fine. We got another stinkweedum too. Creeping chill, sure. Probably should have ate the faithless looting. Let's crack that, go get ourselves a blue source. For, for Faithless. Interesting. I 
They probably have the land, right? They just dredge back their... Oh, they, they dredge back their wall. Yeah. Too bad we can't pitch force to that one. Ephemerate our Wall of Blossoms to draw a card. And we can purge that blood gas now. That's pretty cool. Hit them for three. Ooh, rest in peace. Okay, so we just gotta survive this turn. Too crazy. That's fine, because we can't stop it anyway. I don't see any Hogax yet. So fairly low here. I think we'll take the one, but it's not ideal. There, dude's coming back. We're gonna purge that. Okay, that's pretty good. Hit them with that rest in peace. as well which is nice at this rate we're gonna win the race which is sweet they could potentially have two blockers and then they'll lose their clock We have a seven turn clock. Giving up their blocker. Stink we do. Sure. Let's path that. Oh, that's awkward. If we run out our soul herder, we're not going to be able to cast our four. So let's just run out another wall. Thank you. 
think it's too greedy to do it. There's the gear hawk. Creeping chill us. I'm gonna force that. Well, do we? We don't. Yeah. Oh, they're just conceding off of us. Saying we're gonna force that. So that was good. It might be too much to have the pats here. It might be better for us to have the one more coiling oracle just to dig further. Because we already have the Persias as well, so. got all the draw power and we've got a rest of the piece we're pretty happy with this yeah co uh, coil is a pretty good blocker and what's up mana rocks thanks for joining Professional. Hit their stink queen up, no problem. Oh ho ho ho. They're so good at this. That's pretty nasty. Triple blood gas and an amalgam. Off their dredge. No worries being late to the party. have to hit rest in peace next turn and then we have to start running out all of our blockers we'll go wall first I guess please no more please no more we can't handle it it's too much that's another amalgam that's gonna be in play I'm not sure we're gonna be able to keep up with that Cause like, we're gonna go rest in peace here, sure. But then we're taking 11 damage. Yeah, we're just actually dead, wow. Yeah, cause we just run out of blocker and then we block the amalgam path the other one and still take another seven. Ugh, ugh. Absolutely disgusting. We're not good enough at this game, folks. Yeah. So we can path one to another, I mean, and whatnot, but that's, that's a, it's over. What a nasty start. All right, jumping on the last one for this league. And then after this, we're switching over to Urza. I mean, Gak is also a problem, but so is Faithless Looting, and they both should go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right. Well, if you can't come back with the stream, I'll be uh, uploading it later tonight as well. So once I'm wrapped up with tonight, I'll have it online uh, probably within an hour or two after the stream wraps up just because I got to wait for it to process. So and thank you so much for joining us tonight, Lucid. Much appreciated. They feel bad for us, so that's why they're trying to find us an opponent that we can, uh, you know, have a chance against. <laughs> oh, uh, you had missed it earlier, but I actually want them to ban ancient, ancient stirrings. I want them to ban stirrings. Uh... I want them to ban uh, Faithless Looting. I want them to ban Manam uh, maybe not Manamorphos, but and then uh, Hogak as well. They just ban all of it. Get get modern into a better spot. And unban Stoneforge. <laughs> keep this you did miss um the tron we played that first um i'll be uploading that later tonight um as far as going back to genie tron i probably will go back to genie tron as soon as hogax gone uh right now it's just not the, the best spot um to play it at a big tournament if you're in a small tournament or anything or a local fnm that doesn't have like any or any local event as a whole that doesn't have a lot of hogax then you're absolutely fine to run genie tron because you can dedicate the cyborg to it but for now um I'm not. I'm also just really loving Ur a five color Urza or four color or three color Urza. That deck is an absolute blast. Okay. Probably taking Coiling Oracle. Yeah. Goodbye, Oracle. We miss you. It's a fair point, like, it's going to be uh, painful, but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, but I, I think, like, it's not ideal, but we can replace it with the um, Oath of Nyssa, right? Which is just a slower, lets you hit a couple other things, but it's a slower card. It only lets you go um, three deep instead of uh, five deep. Well, at least we can go Ewit to bring back Oracle to do this. Looks like we're going against Mardu Shadow. It's probably just a good thing to take a little bit of power from everybody, honestly. Guaranteed land or an oracle? I think we should go guaranteed land. Yeah, I, th I think Oath is a reasonable, you know, downgrade to Ancient Starrings. And like it's, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't want faithless looting 
and Hogak to get banned and Sterling's not to get banned because then there's going to be a power issue between all of them, you know? Yeah, Neil brands a card that's going to be a bigger issue as time goes on. I'm gonna see if they have the Tamir Battle Rage. We can pitch Force Inventor to it. Okay. Interesting. So we're going to have to block one, vents are the other one, and then Thrag Tusk? I still don't think that gets there. Ugh. Ice Fang's not bad. Okay, so we'll pass it over. We'll vent the shadow, block the shadow, take three, go to six, and the witch would then be five because of the cracking of the fetch. And if they have any interaction, we're probably dead. Well, we have force, but. And then we'll have to use Ice Fang and block the other one. Mm mm mm. Yeah, a little bit off a, a little bit of power off the top of everybody seemed to me at least would probably be a good thing for modern slow it all down a bit and then um some other decks will stop popping up i mean i don't think there's anything worse than losing on turn one and two without being able to do anything even turn three it feels awful Battle Rage. They do. And we can't force now. Okay. We want the Purges. The Thrag Toss. I think Gearhawk as well. I don't think these are good enough. I'm not sure force is good enough. Yeah, I think we're going to try cutting those. Jace is probably too slow as well as Vencer as well. Maybe we bring an ooze. Let's try this. Persian Gearhawk, that's it. That's not happening. Okay. We can do this. We'll ship the Venser. And we're going to have to hope to get a... A white... A uh, white source, probably. We'll run out the force first. And see what we rip off of the uh, land before we crack the vista. The 
If we can hit a white, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Okay, no white source there. Let's crack this, get ourselves an island. We didn't want it anyway. All right, another ephemerate. Right? We really need that land now. All right, land off the top. So many extra cards. Just give us a land. Our Vista's gone too, which is kind of sad because that Ewit could have uh, grabbed us. That Vista back. Why are they so rude? Why are they so rude? The green white dual land would be dope right now. Come on, give it to us. That way we can grab Ewit, we can get back Ephemerate. It'd be a win win for us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that plague engineer. Goodbye, snakes. Goodbye, snakes. Land. Yeah, we got a land. Um. Think I'm gonna hit the ephemerate. We'll take the hit and then we can block an ephemerate. Do they got another engineer? Oh no. Sure, we'll discard a threat test. We don't need it. Alright, let's path. The shadow. Run out of ooze. And we'll pass it over. That's a bummer. Well, we gotta do it.
Yeah, I feel like it's a deck that will be more relevant once Hogak goes away as well. Because it just plays on a fair axis uh, that can't always keep up. But it is a pretty grindy deck, and it's so resilient. Alrighty. We're going to attempt to grab this path. Do you like this one better or the Esper one? Yeah, I'm playing Urza next. Oh, that's interesting, Lucid. Splashing the Glyphs. that they swung that knowing that we have the, uh, the ice fang in hand so we can get our ephemerate back. I don't think they even have another land, do they? Yeah, no. to get another blue source blue source I think it was more a finals luck than skill to be honest I'll never give myself that much credit I got I got a lot of wins off the top of the deck with it so This is not good enough. This is. And we'll ditch the Venser. Yeah, you're almost, if you, once you're in the Mardu with the green, you're pretty much playing like the old five color Traverse, uh, Traverse Shadow decks, right? Triple Street Wraith. Oh my gosh, are they dropping a Shadow Turn 1? Oh, the Spell Bomb. You know, I'm happy with what I did. I just, uh, I think I have a lot more room to, uh, to grow, you know, and become a better player. Um, so I think that's still going to take me more time. Sure, they can Thought Seize us. Grab a duel. Let's grab the blue one because I want to run out this watcher.
Yeah, the the mental game of Magic is so rough. I gotta say, like you can you you I find, you like you beat yourself up so much when you like make these like misplays, and it it ended up costing you so much because then your next game you go into it with a bad mindset, or you don't keep the hand you're supposed to keep uh, because it even though it's the statistical correct choice and you know that it is um you don't go with that choice because you're like oh this isn't the right choice anymore because it, it didn't pay off last time so you let that um skew your opinion of what's going on so like it just compounds on itself i feel like Grab that awkwardly, and then we're gonna go e wet. Um, let's grab the watcher. Yeah, bad variance into bad place is a great way to uh, phrase that. It and it happens to all of us a lot. Lands good. Human, of course, it would die instantly. We could run out the soul herder, and when they no, we can't respond. I think we just have to run out the uh, the watcher to die. No, let's just path them. Let's just wait a turn, because then we can watch her and ephemerate when they use the lily. Yeah, and I've seen it happen to myself and all my teammates a ton. Yeah, it doesn't take much for it to happen, you know? Oh. Yeah, let's put up the, the watcher, because we need to have a threat. Us would be great because we got to hit this in two turns that's going to be a big problem I read this um this comic a long time ago and they were talking about how it's uh, an overcorrection you know like you are they going to burn a removal spell yeah All right, we just need to hit a land now. Um, it's like an overcorrection, so you make a mistake, and so you change your uh, what should be the correct play or the correct action from it, and then you keep doing it, and you keep doing it. We are definitely at risk of a Lily alt. Because they're definitely alting. <laughs> That's why we wanted to do that uh, the hideaway guy potentially prevent it, but... That's a Lily ult. I imagine they take the ephemerate because Thrag Tusk, we can just play both of them. Maybe not. Yeah. So they get two plus a turn. That is not good. I'm pretty sure we're just dead. 
We have to hit like the deputy and start blinking the deputy. Do you just have a battle rage here to end it? What a savage! What a savage. Alright. Well, I like this deck, but it def I don't think the deck likes me. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this uh, deck returned, and we will swap on over. I'm going to end the recording.